Hey guys, I thought I'd run through that demo I attempted earlier in class and post it for you in the classroom. So you can see here that I have Photoshop open and I am on my PC at home. Here is the blank box we were working with earlier. I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer. So I'll just click here and make a new layer. So it's above the grouping. And this will work with a layer that has content or doesn't have content. The important part is that you have a layer selected and then we'll just do what we did before, which is go to filter, vanishing point. Now in my vanishing point file, which is right here, our filter area, I'm going to create a new plane. I can hit the C button to basically make the plane expand. So C, and see I got this little square icon, and just turn it that way. Then I can use my select tool to individually manipulate the points as needed. That's pretty good. Okay so you can see this a little bit better. So you can see I'm in the select tool. This is a create plane tool. This is the marquee tool stamp. You can like mess with stuff in here, <clears throat> but we're just going to drop a logo in. Say, okay. Here's my Amazon white. This is the only layer that exists. I'm just going to hit uh, control A to select all, um, control C to just get it on my uh, clipboard. As you can see it's all selected and come over here and go back to filter so I'm still on the same layer and go to filter vanishing point I still have my vanishing point and I should just be able to click here and hit control V and look there it is now this is what I was trying to do in class <clears throat> now I should be able to just kind of scroll this over here I'll just zoom, hit the T. So I see these little white, white, white dots here. I can hit the shift key and just scale it down, scale it down. And look at that, All right? It just goes right in. Use the shift key, scale it down a little bit more. Look at that. That is pretty amazing. Hit enter. I'm going to go up to my layers, layer mask. I'm going to use reveal all. And I'm going to just zoom in to this area. And I just want this tiny, some of this texture to come through, right? Maybe I could use something like a, a placement map or a blend if or some of these other techniques um, like I've said to you guys before I am like super old school um, I'm probably just gonna use the mask so I'll hit my brush I'll make a fuzzy brush hardness zero yep that's what I want all right and I have black selected. Excellent. And my opacity on this brush is about 30%. So let's see, I'll just click here. And then if I hit the shift key, I can make a nice straight marking. And you can see how that uh, little fold comes out a little bit more. So I'm going to click again, holding the shift key down. So I've got that coming out. And then I can maybe just like do a tiny little bit over these rivets. Although I suppose the rivets would be completely seen, right? Is it not like it gets printed on top of that? All right. So there you go. One more thing. We need to return the layer's opacity back to full. So I will return it back to 100%. 
and there you go. So that's how you do it. I'm really sorry for the technical glitch earlier today when Photoshop would not let me paste in from the clipboard into the filter. But sometimes stuff happens. Still, you can see here that it works. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you in class.